What's going on, dope shit gang? It's your boy Dono Bradley back at y'all with another video. And today, we are here with confessions of a DoorDash driver animated story featuring that boy Cheerio. This comes to us by way of Yo Yo 808. You know, we over here, man. This should be hilarious. But like a DoorDash, or not my, uh, my girl, she do. Um, So she should be doing them things, man. Like, <laughs> but like she's she's told me some stuff, like nothing like too too like bad or nothing like that or serious. But you know, just some little moments, some little inconveniences. So I can only imagine how y'all you about to tell us about this here. So be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, follow me on all that dead social media. We hear that further ado. Three, two, one, click. If you look at the activity on my phone, you'll you'll notice a trend: a lack of hoes and an abundance of food delivery apps. DoorDash, <laughs> Uber Eats, Instacart, <laughs> Postmates. Don't let the gym videos fool you. This barbell ain't the only thing with two plates on it. Like the only hub in my. That's a bar <laughs> that's a bar he said this barbell ain't the only thing with two plates on it oh shit don't let the gym videos fool you this barbell ain't the only thing with two plates on it like the only hub in my search history is grubhub no cap i put <laughs> nigga said the only hub is grubhub <laughs> Y'all got, it. I'm not gonna tell you, but yeah, all right, we go. Ain't the only thing with two plates on it. Like, the only hub in my search history is Grubhub. No cap, I put that on my browser's account. I say this to emphasize how browser. avid of a user of these delivery apps I wow. am. The only person I could think of that uses these apps more than me is my boy Cheerio, but he doesn't use them for the reason that you think. He doesn't order food, he delivers it. I know this because the last animation I uploaded was made almost entirely in his car off of my laptop because I decided to ride shotgun with him while he worked to see what it'd be like to be a door dasher. What about Damn! And it was an experience. I'll Nigga hit the curb on him. To see what it'd be like to be a door dasher. What about Damn! And it was an experience. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you that. Hey, yo, we gotta give. We gotta give this to Yo Yo, man. Gotta give. Gotta, like, my, my, my man went out and did his research. Like, homie's like, hold on, I got a homie that do this. You know what I'm saying? He went out and did his research to get this video together. So we gotta, we gotta give him those. Appreciate the work that got put in. That. Gotta put himself in a serious, life-threatening situation. Y'all seen that curve hit? Come on. And honestly. I'll bench my animations. <laughs> And honestly, I'm surprised I'm even alive to animate this because not only does Cheerio drive mad reckless, he also <laughs> drives sticks. So when he's not cutting people off and hitting U-turns at 30 miles per hour, he's switching gears hard as hell. Like bro's car jerks more than me on a Saturday night. And that's sad. Wow, yo, what? <laughs> this man be spitting bars all throughout his whole damn video. <laughs> Per hour, he's switching gears hard as hell. Like, bro's car jerks more than me on a Saturday night, and that's saying something. Relax, bro. Cause I practice. Wow, <laughs> yo, these is clean. These is clean. These flips is clean, bro. These flips car is clean. Car jerks more than me on a Saturday <laughs> night, and that's saying something. Oh, yo. Cause I practice this dance all the time. Like, this is the only jerk, and I've been <laughs> doing it for months. I put that on my browser's material. Be with it, bro. The only thing that could stop this nigga is a blue shell. Like, calm down, Dom Toretto. You gonna be Paul walking to the gates of heaven if you keep this up. I'm really yo, hold on. Yo, yo, talking mad spicy, dog. Relax, bro. Like, y'all know we react to music over here and we we break down bars, but I mean, if he gonna keep hitting us like this, I gotta do it. Like, hold on, listen to this man. He said, I'm gonna, <laughs> what they gonna stop you is a blue shell because of Mario Kart that they yeah, was homie be recklessly driving. Like, calm Yo, down, Dom Toretto. You gonna, you be, gonna Paul be Paul walking to the gates of heaven. You gotta relax, dog. What the fuck? <laughs> I'll walk into the gates of heaven if you keep this up. I'm really not trying to make this whole video about his driving, but he literally turned his car off at 45 miles per hour on a hill and turned it back on when he had to steer at the bottom just to save gas. I mean, I understand because with these gas prices, I yo, that nigga ain't playing. That nigga said, nope, don't need it. <laughs> ain't playing, nope, nope. What is was that Putin's price hike? We ain't playing that, not today. Had to steer at the bottom just to save gas. I mean, I understand because with these gas prices, I bet he'd rather be delivering kilos than food. But golly, I mean, was risking. I, I mean, 
You gotta mind, get your back, boo boo. You know what I'm saying? You gotta handle yourself. Gotta handle yourself out there, man. Because with these gas prices, I bet he'd rather be delivering kilos than food. But golly, was risking my life worth the 35 cents? Yes. Despite Cheerio <laughs> driving like he has five stars on GCA, he actually has the same rating <laughs> on DoorDash. He gets great reviews, and he 100% does not deserve these ratings. My literal first impression of dashing with them went like this. We pull up to this jacket. But hold on, real quick though. Hey, hey, hey. The customer, I'm gonna defend your homie right here, nigga. They don't see all that, all right? The people that get, they don't see all that. All they know is that they get their food in a very timely fashion. And they're surprised. What happens between the stop and their house ain't none of their business. Mind your business. Leave it alone. You got your food at an orderly fashion. Now, yo, yo, just happened to, you know, for, just to do the research for us, why we you know we appreciate men's, but you, you just, like I said, happen to put yourself in a life or death situation for our content, so we love and appreciate you, but that's why your homie got the reviews, because obviously he's willing to, he's willing to get the food to the customer at all costs. <laughs> ratings my literal first impression of dashing with them went like this we pull up to this jack in the box to pick up an order we stop at the window he grabs like five bags of food and puts it in the back i'm thinking we're gonna drive off after this but then i hear hey yo yo put, put this on your lap for me bro i look up and he's handing me like four more bags of food that's nine bags they gonna place this order i take my headphones <laughs> off and ask him why he picked up so much food and he tells me he does uber eats and DoorDash and accepted four orders not realizing how much food each person got but he didn't seem too worried that was until he confirmed the pickups and got the locations for the deliveries come to find out both the uber eats and the doordash deliveries were on opposite sides of town which wow. is a problem because you get in trouble if you don't make deliveries in a certain amount of time and it would be literally true. impossible to drive to one side of town and back to the other in 30 minutes or so you thought nigga. No. <laughs> It's really impossible to drive to one side of town and back to the other in 30 minutes. But, you know, that obviously doesn't stop Cheerio from trying. So two spin-offs, three risky lane changes, 110 miles an hour. And 15 minutes later, we pull up to the first delivery and he drops off the food. And we're good. But with 15 minutes left on the clock and a 20-minute ride ahead of us, not including traffic, it was not looking good for us. But, you know, that didn't stop Cheerio from trying. So <laughs> Damn, yo, yo, like, yo. This man put me in danger. He was re I'm about to let them know what I go through for this content is not a game out here. <laughs> Fast and furious in these streets, man. Ain't nobody playing. Was not including traffic. It was not looking good for us, but you know, that didn't stop Cheerio from trying. So three ran red lights, four close calls with cops, and one spilled DoorDash order, and we make our way onto the, oh my God. The turbulence of the car tips over this one large cup of water, and I am just watching as this one guy's food gets drenched and soggy. But what Cheerio oh. says next is what makes me realize this dude does not deserve the rating because he, with the most desperate of tones, says hey yo 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 please be quick put the food in another bag i'll tie it like dog is delivered that nigga never play <laughs> that nigga now play yo yo that nigga got contingencies that man got contingencies he's like i know exactly what to do in this situation nigga, i need your help listen put the motherfucking computer down i'm just <laughs> Oh shit, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Esprit of Tone says, Hey yo yo yo, please be quick, put the food in another bag, I'll tie it. Like dog, is delivering a baptized meal really worth the $7 fare? Yes. Wow. <laughs> this is actually yes. happening. This dude just got water all over his order. And instead of canceling it, he tells me to put it in a- Yo yo, stop the moment you him, guys. <laughs> Stop monologuing. <laughs> Niggas ain't got time for your bullshit. <laughs> Put the computer down. Oh shit, that was funny. Oh god, that shit was uh, in the middle of this man's shit. Slap the dog shit out of his ass. <laughs> His order, and instead of canceling it, he tells me to put it in a yo yo. Stop the uh. log nigga and bag the food. If you're this far in the video and you're not subscribed, what the fuck? You know what me get this bread? 
no. So with my bare <laughs> hands, I'm grabbing soggy fries, reassembling the burger, Cheerios speeding, the paper bag is reading Psalms 23. It's oh straight pandemonium in this whip right now. But finally, I get everything tied up, and right as we're about to exit the highway, Cheerio gets a notification from DoorDash. Turns out the guy actually cancels his order, and now that I think about it, if I ordered Damn. something on DoorDash and saw my driver go in the literal opposite direction, stop, and then head back my way, I canceled too, so luckily we never delivered the food, but the f Well, I mean, yeah, no, they do see that. That's, uh, yeah, no, it was just facts, it was just facts. I didn't even, uh, I didn't even, uh, cross my mind, but, uh, <clears throat> that's still a lot to go through for a canceled order. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you just, I know your boy said he didn't realize it, it, it but it, it, he tried. He gave it a solid shot, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Yeah, 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 he did. <laughs> Head back my way? I canceled too, so luckily we never delivered the food. But the fact that we were about to drop this off at someone's door is ridiculous. Luckily for us and not the other guy, it freed up some time for us to make the last delivery. And right as the time was about to end as well, so like it was mad clutch. We pull up and a rush Cheerio parks his car and books it to the destination. Unbeknownst to me, this dude just parked in the middle of the street. And the only reason I realize this is because I'm <laughs> blinded by the sight of high beams frantically flashing in front of me. In a panic, I- Sorry, like the animation on the face was what got me. <laughs> That's just funny. It's because I'm blinded by the- <laughs> <laughs> bro, these animations be getting me, bro. The sight of high beams frantically flashing in front of me. In a panic, I get out and get into the driver's seat, but I forgot this nigga, nigga drives, drives stick. stick. But I can't just let this dude see me get into the front seat just to not move the whip. I go to step on the brake, <laughs> but I see three pedals. I go to grab the gear, and I don't see an R anywhere. Who, who oh drives God. like this? I am sweating. Yo, I, had, I feel, I, I feel, I've driven this stick before, but I, that's not my primary. Like, it was literally, like, just to learn and then, like, to make sure I could still do it. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I don't, I don't, I don't fuck with stick shit. So, like, I understand my man's right here. <laughs> I don't see an R. He's over here looking at fucking alien controls. <laughs> Anywhere. Who, who drives like this? I am sweating in this seat. And then this guy starts honking his horn. Something needs to be done. I gotta just move the gear, step on any of these three pedals or all three of them at the same time and just hope that the car goes backwards. I genuinely oh see gosh. no other way out of this. So I build up the courage to move the gear. I grab it, but... Thankfully, Cheerio makes it back in time. And his timing could not have been better because I was dead. Cheerio says, "Stop, stop, where you hurt yourself." <laughs> two seconds away from crashing his car or messing up the engine. Either way, it would have been a quiet ride home. <laughs> Well, not quite, because his engine would have been beatboxing, but you get the point. We do all the orders and we go home. I'm genuinely surprised he never got a complaint because stuff oh like God. this happened literally almost every time I went out with this dude. But it wasn't always his fault, though. If it wasn't Cheerio making dumb decisions, it's the restaurants, bro. I remember this one time Cheerio's DoorDash card didn't work for an order and the guy asked him if he could pay for it. Like, you asking me for bread? <laughs> These niggas. When I press, you don't shift because I'm in control when I see niggas. I'm a so he just, he just, this is a thing he gonna do now? I fucks with it though. All right. But nah, they do, but like, my, my girl, she been talking about like how sometimes fucking, it'll take like a million goddamn years to even get the food, which fucks with your time and to get to where you need to go. Like, it's a, it's a whole thing too. Dash card didn't work for an order and the guy Bars. asked him if he could pay for it. Like, you asking me for bread? <laughs> These niggas. <laughs> when I press, you don't shift because I'm in control when I see niggas. I got, oh, man, I press you don't shift because I'm in control when I see niggas got the keyboard and still car bars. Let's go. Niggas, I'm going to really empty out my clipboard when I hop out of control B, nigga. Woo! Yo, let's go. <laughs> Bro, when I see I like, niggas, I like I'm going to really the empty out my clipboard when I hop out of clip. control B, nigga. Can you spot me? No, but DoorDash gave me your Addy. I'm at your estate now. No M&M, but the driver's just eight miles. See my... Let's go, no M&M, but the driver just ate, let's go, let's go, let's go. Dash gave me your Addy, I'm at your estate now. No M&M, but the driver just ate my. Can't see my chopping your morale less like your name, Mom. Your morale less. Your morale, your morale, your morale, like the way you feeling, you get your morale, it's less. But he's talking about the Spider-Man thing, it's the Spider-Man bars, he's talking about the Spider-Man. Huh, yeah. Bro, B, nigga. Spot me? No, but DoorDash gave me your Addy. I'm at your estate now. No M&M, but the driver's just eight miles. See my chopping your morale less like your name, mom. Come on. 
Kick down your door and you ain't come out, I guess you straight. <laughs> Kick out your door, you ain't come out. Bro, so I guess you straight now. Yo, yo, yo. I like these. If, if, I don't know if this is like an every video thing. It's been in the last two I've reacted to. But if he keep doing this, like, <laughs> I fucks with it. Wow, <laughs> less like your name, Mom. Yeah! Kick down your door and you ain't come out. I guess you straight. Yeah! <laughs> You watch way too much battle rap, bro. But yeah, after seeing what you <laughs> has hey, to go through, I definitely will be tipping my delivery drivers a lot more. They deal with some BS for sure, but the worst has to be getting an order, driving over to the place just for it to be closed. Mm. They're closed? That's, that's fucked. That's just fuck. like I said. <laughs> 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 no! There's no way no. you just did that! <laughs> <laughs> Hey. She let me beat the box like that. Tighten up, Blade 2. Come on, fam. Thanks, my phone hey. was sharp. If you're not careful, I'ma slash you like a red Ooh. head. I chased the back of Cat Ed. Don't put me in your mentions. Cause when I hit the scene, you niggas ghost like Corey Kenshin. Said Ooh. this once, I'll say it again. If I can't be your man's, then I won't be your friend. You trying hey. to crawl up off my energy and your plans getting soiled. You can't put me in a box like aluminum foil. Uh. Get it? Cause like microwaves and aluminum foil. <laughs> For sure. We got you. Yo, 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 yo. That was dope. We listen to dope shit here, and we watch dope shit. That shit was funny. I mean, like, yeah, my man's my man's was in a life and death situation that happened. But you, your boy was your boy was about it. Your boy was about it. He was like, yo, we got we I got I got this. So like, he said, two order. He saw that. He's like, he I, I put it like this. At least he was about the solution. <laughs> he saw that there was a problem in this is, and he was like, all right. So if we gotta add up this place with this place then all right i see we're going to have to subtract human life on the road all right got you we can make this work <laughs> that's what y'all yeah, your man was on but uh nah this was funny man but yeah those they, they them jobs definitely have their moments and complications i'll tell you that just now from like listening to stuff my girls told me and things like that but nah this was a piece man that's the take on it be sure to like be sure to subscribe follow me on all that this social media and i'll catch y'all next week man peace